Oh man, I'm mad. I just recorded this whole video and, and I wasn't even recording it. So let's get back into it. Top five qualities men are looking for in women in 2017. Ah! Step number one, reason number one, thing number one we're looking for, we're looking for a woman with natural beauty. Now that doesn't mean don't wear makeup, that doesn't mean don't put on heels, that doesn't mean get your little French manicure, it doesn't mean don't do any of that, it means you gotta do both. You guys and you gals are tired of seeing the same girl on Instagram, the same girl with the, yeah, the eyebrows, you know the eyebrows that go like that, that, that. Everybody's tired of seeing the same girl on Instagram looking at the camera like this. Girl, we're tired of that. Show us what the fuck you're doing at your job or something. Show us when you're paying some bills. Show us when you go in the bank and you're making a deposit or something or when, you, when you're grocery shopping. We're looking for something real. Natural beauty isn't just about the way you physically look. It's about the way you physically present yourself. Men are looking for something real. Do you have struggles? Do you have problems? Show us that. Because as men, I can tell you, every man you come across has a struggle or problem that he's waiting to conceal to a woman who can handle the real. That kind of rhyme. Poet. Step number two, reason number two, however you want to look at it, every man, every real man that's worth your time is looking for a cheerleader. What does it mean to be a cheerleader? I'll tell you what it means to be a cheerleader because every man was once a boy and the way boys are conditioned, we are conditioned to believe that if we show our emotions, we are what is called a pussy or a fag or we are weak. And I'm sorry if those terms are offensive to you, but I'm only giving you what young boys deal with every day. Don't take it out on me. Take it out on, on them. The problem is, is that. Young boys and grown men are human beings. Human beings have emotions and problems and fears and things that happen to them. And we go through pain and tears and scars. But this society tells us that if we show that, if we are vulnerable, and we show our weaknesses, our issues, our problems, our complaints, that we are indeed weak. That we are not worthy of being called a real man. And no real man wants to be called something that's not real man we all want to be called that even from the time we are a boy none of us desire to be emasculated so if you are looking for a real man it is your duty as his woman to be his cheerleader to let him know that it's okay to be real baby it's okay to be yourself it's okay to let it out if you need to cry if you need to yell if you need to scream i'm here for you i got you what's going on inside of you because when you take that angle with the man that man woo, he opens up and he becomes woo, he opens up and he woo, and he opens up and he becomes the most loving, the most caring, the most nurturing, protecting, funny version of himself. And he can only do that when you unlock it. He might do it on his own if he's that confident, but I'm telling you, that's the minority and that's not the majority. Number three. Now, some guys might be hypocritical with this, but we are not talking about them. We are talking about the men that you claim you want. Uh, we all want somebody loyal, baby. I had a quote one time that went viral on the internet, and it said something like, damn, I don't even remember what it said. It said something like, I don't want to look stupid for being loyal to the wrong person. Ooh. Number four, what do men want out of women in 2017? Ooh. We want a woman with no ego because here's the deal. Uh, I hate to say it, but I got to be real. There's this thing called feminism and it's killing the field. You got a man trying to be a man. He's trying to love a woman. But God damn it, some of these women is crazy with this feminism stuff. Look, I'm all for uplifting women. I do it every single day. That doesn't mean that I don't want to get you in my bed and I don't want to sleep. That don't mean we can't go in that kitchen and eat food and pray. Look, the dichotomy of being with a man encompasses so many different things. So what we want is a woman with no ego. Just because you're a woman, it doesn't make you better than anything. Your gender doesn't make you bigger than the relationship, and no man should feel that way either. He shouldn't feel like because he's a man, he's bigger than the relationship. Right now, and I'm just being honest, as a man who observes the dating pool, I work in this lane, I'm telling you, the overwhelming majority of the women in this dating pool operate with an ego, a huge ego, a huge sense of self-entitlement. 
And those women are losing because they're not compatible. They're not fun to be around. They're not easy to interact with. I'm telling you this because I care, because I don't want you to be missing out on the things that you claim you want, which is a good environment, a good relationship with a man. And if you're not fun, if you're not easy to talk to, if you have a huge ego, if you think you're better than a relationship because of your gender, if you're loyal to your gender, you're not loyal to your relationship. Uh, Ooh, it's gonna be tough for you. Number five, now this might be a little bit more advanced and you may have never heard this before, but I gotta give it to you real, baby. Your emotions are not facts. Men know that women are more emotional in general than we are. In general, women know that men are more logical. Now, someone's gonna say, well, there's women who are super logical and not emotional and there's men who are super emotional and not logical i get that we are not talking about the majority the minority we're talking about the majority the majority of the interactions between women involve and i'm talking about america i don't i don't know what it's like in other countries i'm talking about america in america it's usually a man who is more logical is usually more of a thinker and then the woman is more emotional more of a feeling now the gender wars that are going on with feminism and all that other stuff is making it seem like our natural gender stereotypes don't exist. I'm sorry, but they do exist. I don't care what you believe in, they do exist. If you don't study psychology, if you don't study sociology, if you don't study biology, then you'll be ignorant to the fact that gender roles do exist. Because of my gender, when I enter a relationship with a woman, I and her both have parts that are opposite to work together. We have parts that are similar to work together. If I wanted to be with the me, I would be with the me, but I don't want to be with the me. I want to be with a woman. I want to be with a woman because she's different than me. I am a thinker. I am logical. I will work all day if there's no woman around me. But when a woman is around me, then I start thinking about, ooh, she's soft. Let me lay on her. Let me cuddle with her. Let me get some love in my life. Let me pay attention to her. See, and the same thing happens for a woman. Now, I don't know how to explain what y'all go through, but as men, we love women. We love when a woman comes into our life. And so because of that, I understand that my woman is super emotional. And I say super emotional because I'm speaking subjectively from my range of what I think emotional is. And she's much more emotional than me. This does not make her bad. It doesn't mean that I'm wrong in having this perspective. It means that she's emotional. She's more emotional than me. It means that I'm logical and I'm more logical than her. Those are just the facts. So instead of putting her down or her putting me down for our differences, we accept each other's differences. And one thing I have to tell her that I will tell any woman I ever date and I will tell you, your emotions are not facts. Just like his logic might not be a fact. Your emotions are not facts. Just because you feel a certain way, that does not mean that you are right, but that you are entitled to run through the way he may feel or think about a situation. And when you understand that, and when you understand how to balance your emotions and to really introspect as a woman and go inside and say, hey, is there validity here? Am I reaching? Whatever that process looks like then your compatibility with a man completely increases because a man wants a woman who can have a little bit of both. Be emotional, but be able to use your logic too and say, hey, you know what? I'm feeling this, uh, let me let it go, or it's irrelevant. And the same thing applies for men. We can't be logical completely all the time. We gotta have a little bit of balance and be able to trust our intuition and our feelings and say, you know what? This feels right, but this doesn't feel right. The same it's the same conversation both ways. These are my thoughts for today. You watched. Now I need to know what you think. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you hate me. That's cool too. You can hate me. You can hate me or love me. It's okay because this video is not about me. I'm making it for you. I'm making it for you and your love life. So I'll be back. I might go eat some donuts or something. And I'll be back. If you need, hey. If you need some deep literature, I got five books. Check them out. They'll help. Link below. All right, y'all.
Peace.